Well, it's been a really simple picture that you can all do really easy. Now, let's turn this a little bit. So it's not quite right on my face. There. Okay, clean brush. Nice clean brush. And we'll start with ultramarine blue. I'll put it on the top because I've got a rather dark top colour. In fact, I'll bring it down quite a bit. I might use two brushes here because I can see this brush is going to get very dirty quickly. I'm going to put my little microphone on. There. Now, I put that blue on and I was saying it has to go on a lot of blue and I'm going to need another brush because this brush is going to get very dirty. Then I picked up some crimson. I'll put the crimson there and crisscross it in with a loose brush stroke. Don't fiddle around with it. Pick up some more. I didn't clean my brush because the colour I want is on there. Crisscross, crisscross. And that's a, a ready blue sky. Quite a dark sky. And then finish it with a long brush stroke. And then we come down into the blue and blend blue up into the dark. You can go over a little bit if you want to. There's a hair there. Pick him up. I think he's gone. Yep. Okay, I'm going to use another clean brush because I've destroyed that one. Here's a nice new brush. I'll pick up some white. I've got a lot of, pa pa a lot of paint here. White, ultramarine blue, crimson and some raw sienna. So I'll put the white in this area here. And I know when I work out up there, I'm going to need a dirty brush. So let's go down first and slowly up. And then we'll add our raw sienna. That's above there and a little bit below. A lot of water here. Horizontal brush stroke. Bring the white up into the raw sienna. Give you a nice glow. And then we go into crimson. Crimson below. Clean the brush. Don't wash the brush while you're working just makes a mess of everything and that paint is not thinned either it's straight out of the tube mm -hmm. and I should get a sky that's very dark there this brush is a bit soft it's quite a soft little brush I bought it at the hardware store I don't think it's for painting landscapes it's it's probably for doing something else brickwork or something too soft okay let's use this harder brush that's better it's got a lump in it. There. Down into the white. And then down into the water area. And water underneath. I'll take the water right across. And we can decide where we want it later. A little bit more ready in this area. Because we want the corners darker than the rest of the painting. Okay, so that's crimson, white and raw sienna in the middle, going into the ultramarine blue on the outside. There's the blue. That's the start of our painting. I'll find another brush, something good. This one looks good. One and a half inch house painting brush. That's a nylon brush actually. So we need some sky. What are we going to have? We need something exciting. Let's pick up some I'll pick up some red and some raw sienna. We'll put it in the white and we'll see if we get some nice bright colours. There we are. There's some nice bright colours. And I'll just lay them on the sky to see how they look. Ooh. Mm. So they're going to be clouds. I'll pick up some more of the same paint. And because it's going closer to the horizon, I'll try and make a thinner line of clouds but we'll keep that angle we want that angle something like that and then with the corner of the brush and a bit of paint on one side I'll clean the other side I can make that into something like that now I don't know what it is but it looks good and here clouds and I'm going to look for another clean brush we better have a bit of a reflection of that in the water somewhere. Or let's have a 
rather good reflection just there, just in case we need it. We might not need it, but you never know. There. I'm looking for a clean brush now because uh, I want to brush that over to make it look like it's moving. First of all, I'll brush it that way. And I need a little bit more white about there. You always want the middle of the painting to be the white bit. That's a bit too much, but we'll see what happens. Put a bit of colour in it. Clean the brush. Okay, okay. We got it. Now, sun coming up from underneath. There it goes. Oops. Oh, curvy one. Be heavy wind. Uh, that'll do. And we can put it down through our water. I'll try and keep them straight on. Not standing straight on, so. Okay, good enough for our sky. Now the good fun comes. We'll find a brush. That's no good. That'll do. A ground hog bristle brush. They're a bit rare sometimes. So you can use whatever you've got. You can use a flat brush if you want to. And over here, we need some dull grey purpley colours. So I'll mix it with a knife. Maybe. It's got to be dull, so it's going to have white in it. And it's got to be purple, so it's going to have both these colours in it. Let's see what we get. Hmm. Not dark enough. I should have added the white to the, to the darker colours, but I went around it the wrong way. Okay, that'll do what we're, that'll do. That's not too bad. You see how I, I haven't I haven't completely mixed those colours. And there's a reason for that. Because in nature you see all the colours mottled together. If you want to walk up to the thing you can see all the different colours, but from a distance it looks like one colour. That might look like one colour from a distance. But if you look very closely to it, you'll be able to see all the different colours. Let's have some gum trees way back there in the sunlight somewhere. They need to be flat because the water's flat. Just a silhouette now. This is why this painting will be easy if you want to paint it. We're only painting silhouettes. We're not going to try and paint anything fancy. And you see that I'm painting wet on wet. So that's where you get one go to put your paint on. Because if you brush it again, you go through the paint underneath and you've lost your crispness. Crispness. There because that's getting bigger, it must be closer, it must be darker, so I'll add a bit more colour to that. It's a bit ready, a little bit of blue. So I'm mixing the colours on the picture. Mm -hmm. Clean the brush, clean the brush, the tip of the brush. You pick up quite a bit of paint on the tip of the brush. This time I'm turning it round and we'll put it on with the other side brush. No, that's no good. Let's just brush it on. When I'm dabbing I put it on the other side, but when I'm painting like this, brushing it on. I put the paint on first. These have got quite red over here. Must be a red day here. Yeah. 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 So that's going to be our background trees. And because it's water, I need to bring the reflections down quickly. A nice clean brush if I can find one. Look at that soft brush I just had for a while ago. That'll do. There's the reflections. Down into the water. And we'll give them a run over this way because sometimes it makes it look very shiny. Oops. Wasn't so good, was it? Okay, now we can fix that. You see how it's not shiny in the middle where it should be because that's why you want people to look. So you put plenty of plenty of white stuff in the middle here. You want people looking in that area. A bit of white ripples here and there. And then I'll put a dark bank along there somewhere. We're running out of blue paint already. Gee, I'll use a lot of paint. Dark along there. I'm not going to do too good a job because I want to show you, if you want to take your time and do it nice and perfect, okay, but I want to show you how easy it is to paint a scene like this using silhouettes. Now we need some more blue, that's ultramarine blue, I'll put it up there. You can watch what I'm doing then. I'll put it up here, 
Come on, Ultraman, get out of there. Don't no, you burst. Ooh. And this time we're going to need a darker colour. I'll mix it with a brush as I go. Oh, let's use a flat brush. Might be better. Red, blue, a bit of that. And this will give us a much darker grey colour. There. Let's see how it looks. Well, what don't I like? I like that. Oh, I didn't brush that hard enough, but that doesn't matter. We're going to have a tree over that. And we'll do that later. Let's have a few trees here. Oh, I don't want to spoil that. Just here. These trees are a little bit darker, see? A little bit darker. You don't have to see them. You can't see them, it doesn't matter. And in here. And because that's in the sunlight, it'll have a little bit of light on it, a little bit of raw sand, a little bit of white. So a little bit of colour there somewhere, I'd say. Something like that. And clean the brush. We'll have a little bit of, what do we have? We're going to have a tree up there, I know, because I want it. So we'll colour this in. Like that. It may look like grass going up into the water. That's grass. And the tree there. Well, I want it big because I don't want to spoil my lovely clouds. Let's have, we'll have it coming in here somewhere. Like that. That represents a tree at this stage. And with a finer brush, there's a finer brush. I'll put in the tree trunk. This needs to be dark. I don't know what I'm going to do for dark. I'll just use this purpley grey. And really, it needs a white line on it because it's got reflected light. So we'll try and get the white line and everything all in one go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, from here. Out, but bring it into the picture. A bit of reflected light on there. Let's try that. That looks okay. One tree. And while we're on the job, we must put a few dead trees in the background. Yeah, one. one up there, there, there. Mm. There's a lot of dead trees in Australia. The, the gums die off and they just stay there. There. And we need to darken this corner now. We'll have something about there. And water coming here. So this is pretty rough and pretty quick, but you can have fun because it purely, it's just silhouettes. Keep your horizon low. Don't have your water go up to here, otherwise your water looks like it's standing up. Keep it very low. I'm going to have to put a tree up there because I don't like that bit. And I've run out of blue paint again. Okay, blue paint. Come on, out of there. enough for a tree. Red. All the red. All the blue. There's all the red and all the blue. And I don't like that bit of sky so that it's going to go there. Hmm. It doesn't look like it but it's going to be a tree. And that one too. trees back a bit. It should come down into the, there a little bit more. Something like that. Where are you little brush? There you are. Bit of colour, bit of colour. I'm going to go, this tree's going to go right through the middle of that tree. Okay. Okay. Now, don't don't worry about this not being a great piece of art. It's something that you can do for yourself. And it's easy. These white lines need to be perfectly horizontal. If you put them on crooked, your water will look like it's running uphill. So just put them on so it insinuates that there's water there. 
and we need something to turn this into grass. Just flick it up, lift the brush off and the, and the hairs that are stuck there turn it into grass. Okay, okay, now, what's missing? We got our water birds, water birds. Need a brush that's shaped reasonably well. Oh, my birds are a mess. Doesn't matter. There's a quick one for you. And it just shows just a few colours and silhouettes with a bright sky. It must be bright. Nice and bright sky. There's an easy one for you. Ooh, looks rather dark on my television, but you might enjoy. It's the wrong way. There. Have a close look. Pretty rough, eh? One brush stroke. Don't fiddle around with it. In the top, you can't see it. Well, who wants to see in the corner of the painting? That's okay. Yeah. And the water. It looks like water because it's shiny. Okay, see you later. Thank you. Bye.